From Amateur Radio Newsline Report, number 2190, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. We begin this week's report from wildfire-plagued California and an unprecedented multi-day power shutdown by Pacific Gas and Electric. In the Los Angeles area, Jim K6JAT, the ARRL Pacific Division Director, told Newsline that Oakland Aries and Racy's amateurs reported to the Emergency Operations Center and began fire patrols in the Oakland Hills, joined by city police vehicles and fire department units' equipment. In Los Angeles, Marty N6VI, training officer for the City Fire Department's Auxiliary Communication Service, said the Northwest District of Los Angeles Aries activated at two San Fernando Valley shelters. A resource net was operated by the Los Angeles Fire Department's Auxiliary Communication Service. In Mono County, Emergency Coordinator Paul Dosty, KK6BAF, said hams assisted at a faith-based senior center. In Calaveras County, Emergency Coordinator Sam Hernandez, WS6P, gave updates twice a day using Aries Connect. Newsline anchor Neil Rapp, WB9VPG. The reports were similar from counties all over California, and the outage postponed the usual Wednesday night live Ham Nation netcast. It was delayed until the following Saturday. If you're an extra class operator with the goal of earning your Worked All States Award on 80 meters, an old friend is back to help. Its formal name is the Greetings Extra Radio Amateurs Tired of Operating Lately Net. Its short name is the Geritol Net. That's spelled G-E-R-A-T-O-L. Not to be confused with the elixir once advertised on American TV for people of a certain age. Kevin, N1KL, has posted on the QRZ forums that the net has resumed meeting as of October 1st, and the action gets underway on 3.667 MHz starting at 0100 UTC plus or minus QRM. The goal beyond fostering fellowship is to help extra class amateurs log new states toward the big award. In the meantime, to keep everyone motivated, the net offers a number of other awards along the way. If you're interested and are ready to fire up the rig on 80 meters, visit geritol.net to find out more. Again, that's spelled G-E-R-A-T-O-L. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jim Dameron, N8TMW. The changing of the guard continues. Neil Rapp has news of another amateur radio pioneer to take his signal on up the band. The co-founder of a company that brought top-of-the-line amateur radio transceivers into the market in the late 1960s has become a silent key. Harold Johnson W4ZCB died October 11 after a long engineering career. He was a co-founder of Signal One, which arrived on the scene with its CX-7, the company's original transceiver model, considered state-of-the-art for the era. Harold had been working at Electronic Communications Incorporated, a veteran of the U.S. Air Force, which he served as a pilot and engineer. The North Carolina resident was a member of the Quarter Century Wireless Association. Harold Johnson was... 92. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at arnewsline.org. With Neil Rapp, WB9VPG, Jim Dameron, N8TMW, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the News Desk in New York, and our news team across the globe, I'm Don Wellbanks, AE5DW73. We'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.